Next news is out of Paris, France. Joker audience flees cinema after man shouts Alula Akbar in possible robbery attempt. So, yeah, everyone in, in Paris, France are at the movie theater. They're hanging out. They're watching this movie. This guy starts screaming, it's political. It's political. And he's getting laughs. The theater's cracking up. They don't know why this guy's yelling. Um, and so all of a sudden he stands up, though, and he starts putting his hands on his chest and he's screaming, Alula Akbar. And everyone runs from the theater. People are jumping over chairs. They're they're piling over each other, trying to get to the exit. Um, my mother was outside crying, looking for her child. I mean, it, it caused such a huge, huge scene. People were terrified. Um, and it the, the police got the guy, and they took him to a psychiatric unit for evaluation. But what ended up being the case here was he knew that that would scare people if he did that. And him and his buddy that were there were planning on robbing everybody with, like, their purses and stuff that they left behind running from fear. Wait, so was this guy, like, mentally ill or something? Or was he just a prankster or what? We don't he's know. a robber. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. This was a strategic. But how did he think he's going to get? Okay, so he, he did this so when people run away, he could just steal their bags? Yeah, because you know, if you're if you think that you're about to get shot up, or you think you're about to get you know hurt, or something's about to happen, hmm. you just run. You don't think, oh my god, where's my purse in the dark, right? I, like I you might. just go away, and that's what he was planning on. Everyone leaving their bags behind, their personal hmm. belongings behind. Him and his buddy were just going to collect all the goodies and and go. Um, but, but because did they didn't hmm. know what was happening at first, they just thought this guy's insane, so they, they wanted to make sure he got treated. Um, but he just turned out he was a strategic robber. So he's not a, he wasn't a Muslim, though? I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. Um, it, does, it doesn't specifically say one way or another. Right. So um, how did you think he's going to get away with it? Like, is this is such an easy arrest? Isn't it? I think what he was hoping for was everyone would be freaked out just as they were. And they were going to run just as they did. Um, and he would be able to, like, grab some of their stuff, and they would be able to get out of an exit before anyone caught them, but security was kind of on it, so, uh, um, Good job, security. Uh, because it's, it's good, it's good that security, wait, so this, this is a very brave security that they run into a theater that everybody else was running out of. Like, secu I would say so. <laughs> because security jobs don't pay that much. Like, if somebody sh is shouting at Lo Akbar in a th theater, and I'm working at a theater, I'm going to be like, yeah, this, <laughs> this job doesn't well, pay me. In America, there what? were police officers stationed oh, for this movie. I don't okay. know about around the world, but at least, you know, because of what happened during the last big Batman um, movie Ooh, that came out. Wh where, where was this? Uh, in Colorado, Colorado okay. many years ago, I, I I forgot the name of the Batman movie that came out. I'm sorry. Um, I think it was the last one that Christian Bale did. Um, it had Bane in it, right? Uh -huh. So that one? With, with, it's interesting with regards to Allah Akbar and the power that that word has now. A lot of Muslims, so I'll tell you what a lot of Muslims think and want, want to say, say, but what also a few other minority, like more fundamentalist, more maybe even radical Muslims say, right? So most Muslims would say like, listen, Aloha Akbar just means God is great. It's not meant to be a battle, like war cry. It's not meant to mean like, hey, kill the infidels. You know, we use Aloha Akbar whenever we're like, we're shot. Like, it's kind of like a Arabic version of saying what the fuck sometimes, right? Uh, it's sometimes the Arabic version of saying, oh, my God, sometimes it's, uh, it's you know, um, it's sometimes the Arabic version of saying, wow, that's amazing, right? It's really the Arabic version of, like, let's kill the infidels, right? Uh, and they right. don't like it. Becomes it. popular. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, they don't like it. So these moderate Muslim types, they don't like it that Allah Akbar is seen as such a hateful term. But I've also met Muslims, more radical Muslims, that they love, 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 love the fact that just mentioning the name of their God strikes fear in the hearts of the infidels in this in this way and they say like this is the power of islam this is the power of their god that our enemies run in fear or they 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 you know they tremble in fear as soon as they hear god, god is great and this shows that our god is the true god and islam is a religion to be feared 
and this is like we like that we this is this shows that you know we want to be the strong religion that just by by hearing us sh you know shouting allah akbar y you know people cower in fear so but that's a a minority of radical muslims i've seen that they enjoy this uh but i have seen it right so and there's the hindi version was it josh yeah, yeah. Josh Viram. It's, yes. it's the same. We pray to Lord Ram. Same. Oh, yeah. So a lot of Hindu radicals now want to have their term where they, you know, when they, what they say is like it's going to strike fear. Yeah. The, you know. So what does that mean? What is that again? What is that term, Hindu term? Victory, vic, victory to Lord Ram. Victory to Lord Ram. And what, yeah. how do you say it in Hindu? Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Ram. Yeah. And we've seen them shouting that when they're attacking like Muslims or people that have been, you know, t um, selling cows or stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Chris it corrected. Is. He let me know which one it was. It's The Dark Knight Rises. In Colorado, um, a man dressed up as Joker and went into a movie theater and shot up the place. I mean, killed a lot of people. A lot of people were injured. Right. It was horrifying. Yeah, so I, I do think Hindus are uh, the Hindu radicals are copying a lot of their tactics from Islam, Muslim, Islamic terrorists. Aren't I mean, they? they they used to be Jaisriam even before this, but ah. they started using that in a more radical sense. Right, right. they attack Muslims while saying we that. Should, there should be a comedy sketch where like Islamic terrorists having a class, and there's a whole bunch of Hindu. Radicals taking notes. <laughs> they, they be, I don't know. All right. Uh... Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.